This video is powered by Ulti Energy. This video game has themes of blood and gore. Some themes may not be family friendly. Please make sure to watch before you allow your children to watch. Thank you. Viewer discretion is advised. Our character awakens inside a place he can't quite recall. The mining outpost on Vectera. Being approached by a woman named Lynn. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you'll find. Follow my one simple And being thing. talked to by Nam Main Hell. What's my one simple Listen thing? to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other. It's found out that we're here for a job. Using the skills our character has, he mines faster than anyone in the mine. I'm busy. He also has an intrusive thought about murdering the other miners. He then finds some sort of artifact with pulsating power. Grabbing it, he has an epiphany of sorts. Being able to recall who he is. His name is Noodle Lay. Space does that. You got a few more digs. He's always been a thief. Stealing from anyone and everyone, no matter the consequences. Hey, that was my sandwich. After traveling outside of the research facility, he prepares himself for a gunfight as an unknown ship comes in to land him without permission. Noodle then starts shooting and killing these pirates using a skill that he's had as long as he could remember. After dealing with the pirates, we are sent to a captain's spaceship to another planet to stop the pirate captain from pursuing us. Using his skill, he starts to kill the pirates on this planet. Noodle finally gets the pirate captain. We learn his name is Brogan. Frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of Noodle decided he didn't want a gunfight and coerced Brogan That's, to surrender. Uh, not a bad point. We then set course for New Atlantis to speak with a group of people called Constellation. The captain who gave us our ship, now known as the Frontier, said that these people needed the artifact we grab in Vectera's mine. After making his way outside, he realized he didn't have any clothes on, and decided to take a moment to take in the fresh air of this new planet. 
Being the new owner of the frontier, a fan of Noodle's past was shocked to see him on this planet of all places. Noodle believing this man could be useful, he admitted him to his crew. Noodle decided to set off towards Earth, the planet he grew up on. Earth was in ruins with no atmosphere, but he decided to take a moment to sit and think of what life could have been like if he hadn't gotten to his past mistakes. In space, he was fired by order. the Long You're Sword. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Being proud of on this ship for smuggling, he was greeted by the captain. The captain gave him a mission to sneak into the pirate gang's crew. Traveling to a new system, he met with Adler Kemp to sell him a mass load of Aurora. This was meant to attract the attention of the pirate gang's leader. I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Adler sent us on a task of making Carl, a poor man, pay his debt. Noodle waited, made his way down to him to convince him. Well. I mean, he Noodle really made sure Carl would repay his debt by any means necessary. Spending some time in New Atlantis while Noodle awaited Adler to sell the Aurora he had given him, Noodle admired his newfound ship, the Frontier. He also made sure to send an application to Ryujin Industries, the leading company on Neon. Of course, making sure to lie about every detail without thinking much of it. Hearing back from Ryujin was a surprise. He made his way to Neon to have an, o an interview with the owner, Emojain Salzo. Being given the first job of grabbing coffee for his new supervisor, he made his way right. before being intimidated by the bloke who he's replacing in the company, making quick work of him. Now making his way to the police station to upload a virus to the security cameras, keeping everyone quiet about the gunfight he just had. Making his way to a key law to visit an old friend he came across the deputies in front of the Gal Bank. Deciding to change to a new side, he has to assist the officers. Sneaking his way inside, he made quick work of the Shaw Gang. Sneaking his way inside, he made very quick work of the Shaw Gang. Oh, how the sheriff would be impressed. Also tried to steal a little bit of credits while he was at it. Maybe some grapes, a lime, and a potato. I'm, uh, pretty... They've got the... I heard the fight. Balls. That's... I have the deputy offered Noodle A to change to a new way of life, giving him a mission to accept a job offer on the job board. He made his way to a distant planet to take down a pirate captain. He was still winded from the fight, so he sat for a minute and contemplated life. The pirates were all very easy to take down. Even the one who jumped into the vent and tried to suicide bomb him was simple to take down. He also took one. 
hell of a blow to the head, which gave him a little head pain. But he continued to fight on. And there he was, the captain. Making quick work of him was easy. It was time to return to the deputy. It was time to return to the sheriff. After returning, Noodle A was made a Free Star Deputy. Is this what he wanted? Or did he like the old days of killing pirates in space for fun? But now having the title of deputy, he made his way to an old gang friend who would help him track down the Neon Syndicate member who sent him away long ago. Let's just say, Noodle is very good at convincing people. Through a disgusting passage of monster bodies, he was finally there. Finding Emmett after all these long-awaited years, he decided to first ask for some credits. After not getting any, he decided to take this man's life and took away years of his. Taking it down the other members was also very easy. Like the last of them. After years of waiting, he did it. But did he really want this? Was this truly what Noodle wanted? Nightmares of his past that night would come back to haunt him. He could remember every hit Emmett sent him to do. Every task Emmett had given. The months and years of being a neon hood rat and assassin of the Syndicate. He was a monster in the past. And it actually felt good, he thought. I mean, it was fun. Doing the parkour above the city streets was so much fun to him. It was a thrill. Getting stronger. And blending in. These people were meaningless. After the Neon Guards caught him, he was furious at Emmett. Emmett paid the guards to make him commit in the Red Mile. A dangerous sport of running a mile in the freezing dark while monsters chased him for a show. These monsters were horrible, doing anything to kill the one running. All the bodies scared Noodle A. Made him shake. But he did. 
did it. He won. He was set free. Deciding the law was not the right path for him, Noodle made his way to another old colleague, way out south of Earth on the Fortuna. Taking more hits and hacking jobs for money. Good. He would, of course, spend a couple extra hours to kill whoever he thought was necessary. And he loved stealing anything he wanted. Like coffee brewer and exotic bottles of wine. And of course, Chardonnay, why not? Stealing from Gal Bank, the place he kept going. He didn't realize just how many people he was really hurting, but it didn't matter. This was the side of the law he knew and loved. Taking out civilians for getting in his way. They were all on this planet for nothing but drugs anyway. They deserve to die, right? Maybe the new delay was taking it too far this time. But it didn't matter. He loved being his old self. He loved killing gang members the most. Taking gang members out, one after the other, after the other. Now this was fun. Noodle loved this side of the law. He loved taking down opposing gangs of his past. One after the other, after the other, after the other. And anybody that watched the crime happen. what he wanted. It's what the Lone Star wanted, wasn't it? He was confused. He was manic. He wasn't doing it for the money and respect anymore. He was doing it for the thrill. And even if he still was with the law, these people deserved to die. They were torturing people of his own gang. He was just having fun at this point. Taking everyone out that he could find. He made his way back to his team. Wait, he was killing for his gang. Why didn't he remember? These were the ones that brought him back to Neon. He wasn't even considering the law anymore. 
It was back to being the neon hood red and sticking by the gang's moral codes now. Everyone was an enemy. The guards, it didn't matter. He would kill anyone. The civilians, it didn't matter. He would kill anyone. Even Ryujin, the people who trusted him, the people who brought him in from his worthless life and making that stupid fake application he didn't think would go anywhere. I mean, these people also didn't care if their own workers came to try and kill you, but it didn't matter. It was just one after the other after the other. the other after the other he wasn't doing this for his gang anymore this was for fun this was for the thrill of killing maybe running from this word would help getting inside his ship noodle a set course without thinking about it he knew exactly where to go. New Delay was different now. Nothing made sense. Nothing mattered. He was a monster. He no longer had a race or a gender. He was just a monster, but what if he killed the man who made him this way? On Paradiso, he had that man in his sights. This is the end, right? It's all over. He thought of jumping from the building, but in reality, he was just proving he was only a monster now. He sat and contemplated what he had done. Why were there so many bodies? Surely he didn't do this. He would never kill this many people for no reason. But what if he did? Well, he can't stay here, that's for sure. He was leaving this place for good. Somewhere no one would ever find him. He then left. Arriving on a planet unknown by anyone. Nobody knew who he was now. Right? Who was that? How could anyone have known where he was? How is that? Who are these people? They were bounty hunters, of course. 
It makes sense. After all, he probably has about a bounty of one million by now. But he didn't mean to kill all those people. He didn't mean to. Finally, someone to take his life in the fight of his career. Noodle A made quick work of all these people. the ship to end anyone else that was waiting to kill him. He would cut them down. There it was at last. Silence. Was I killed? It was over. Noodle left the ship he murdered his murderers on. What can he do now besides watch and think? What does this new planet have for him? A new start? A new life? Death, maybe? What will Noodle do now? What was he thinking? Maybe that it's so quiet here, at this place. There's even civilization down there. If you guys like videos like this, please let me know. I love making movie type videos like this. It was a blast going through the time and effort to put into this. I really had a bunch of fun. Thank you again for Ulti Energy for powering this video.